Hi Fabricator Mini Users. This is a follow-up to my previous video on adding a heat bed. Um, what I've done since I've been using the heat bed is to have another look at the Marlin uh, software that uh, runs the printer and uh, what I've done is uh, just tried to optimize the menus a little bit and I've also added a bed leveling uh, sub-menu. So I'll sh share that with you here. Okay, just uh, powering up uh, the mini. Uh, I'll just give you a quick walk through the menus that I've uh, put in place. So powering, uh, powering her up. If we go through uh, the, the menu system, uh, the first uh, menu we go in, you select the prepare menu, and that's where I've done these modifications. So I've uh, put auto home to the top. Um, I've also brought up the preheat uh, PLA and ABS settings. They were further down. And then I've added a, a fourth option for uh, bed living, which I'll go into in a minute. So some of the other options I've moved further down the menus. I don't even think uh, switch power off even works on the mini. Uh, I haven't removed it, but I just left it there. But move those ones further down that uh, I rarely ever use. So whenever you're doing uh, any of these uh, bed leveling operations, you should always uh, start with an auto home, just to uh, basically set the um, coordinate system on the mini so that it knows where zero, zero, zero is. Um, also, of what I've done in the preheat uh, menus, there was only really two options once you've added the, the heat bed, and that was basically a heat bed and hot end option, uh, and the bed only, but there was no extruder only. So on both of the ABS and the PLA menus, I've added the ability just to heat the extruder, and that's handy if you're uh, changing the filament, and you don't want the bed to be hot. Okay, so the bed leveling menu, this is something I've added. So I've again repeated the auto home because um, if you're adjusting the actual height, uh, you need to re-auto home each time that you modify uh, the screw uh, for the, the height. So what I've added uh, is uh, easily accessible um, hot end up and down. Uh, previously you had to go through that uh, movement uh, menu, which was a little bit painstaking to get through. Then I've also added in four positions plus a center point um, where I find that you, it's best to um, take your height measurements from. So basically I've uh, lined up with each of the mounting screws uh, on the bed because they're the things that you need to be shimming up to, um, to make each point equal. So what I'd recommend is you find which is the highest point. If you start with no shims, just with a standard straight out of the box mini, find out which was, is the highest one. If you're lucky, they'll all be identical, but mine was actually quite a, a way out. So basically you start with the highest point. You don't obviously shim it. You just use that as your, um, your starting point and then basically go around and set those positions. Uh, the bed leveling option gives you that very easily. Um, pop your head up each time you're moving just in case you're, you're touching the, the board at any point. You can work your way around and uh, find out what, what you need to adjust and shim it up uh, accordingly with uh, paper that will suit uh, the height difference. Alright, hope uh, that was uh, useful and uh, thanks for watching.